Hello everyone and today I am going to do Pushcart Simul Only Chess. Let's have fun and let's go. I am Okay, so I'm going to accept five random players. One, two, three, four, five. So I have seven players. I'll type hello all and good luck all. So, 10 minutes, uh, 10 minutes for you and 10 minutes for me and extra 10 minutes for me. So, I'll have 20 minutes and you'll have 10 minutes. So, yeah, let's start. Ferny Freck from Argentina. Good luck. Karmar, Natasha Romano. Kukos, Lego Duplo, Daffy, okay, C4, C5 against Panda, E6, C4, C4, hmm, might have three, might have six, I'm going to take, I'm going to play knight C3 here, knight, uh, here I'll go G3, uh, C4, okay, bishop G2, he'll go for G5, I think, but it's okay. Yes, he does. I'll go knight c3. Okay, knight c3. Okay, a6. Uh, h3. I don't know. Just preventing g4. Let's play bishop h4 here. Uh, I'm going to play e4. Okay, I'll take. I'm ta I'll take. e3, castle. e6. Uh, let's go for d4. Okay, take. Knight c6. Uh, knight f3 here. Okay, queen b3 just developing, e6, um, okay, wait, I think I'm going to take this, my pawn on d5, okay, here I'll go for knight c3 again, uh, that's interesting, I think I can just play rook e1, I'm wondering a pawn though, but okay, <laughs> I don't want much, um, a6, b5, bishop g5, okay, um, Bishop d3 looks good here. b5 against Daffy. Oh, okay, he didn't take the pawn, but it seems like he's pre preparing a push on the h file, so that looks a little bit scary. Hmm, what can I play <laughs> to prevent this push? I'm going to think. Da -da 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 -da. Let's see. Interesting. Hmm. I think I'll go bishop e3, I'm not sure if it will be good, we'll see. Okay, c takes d, knight d... Knight. Wait, knight d5 or knight d4 takes, takes this, this, this. Yes, and is late, is she yes, and is late? Ah, I'll take on d5, okay. We'll see <laughs> if it will be good, okay, a6, uh oh, he's pushing even more. Okay, e3, knight d4, uh, bishop g5 here, bishop b7, takes... Okay, that's interesting, you know. Um, <laughs> that's kind of interesting and a bit scary at the same time. Uh oh. I'm worried. Do I play F3? I'm going to try F3, I don't know. We'll see whether it will be good. Okay. I think I can just take. Okay, and here. Rook D1. Uh, castle. Let's play. Bishop h4, I think. Yeah, bishop h4. Looks fine. Okay, knight f6, uh, queen c2, bishop d3. Oh, I think I'm going to close the position with d5 here. Uh, b3, it looks good. Okay, knight f6, uh, bishop b4. Aha, uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> I think that wasn't the best play from me still haven't lost anything but okay i think i may lose something hopefully i won't but i'm not sure if i won't <sighs> interesting that's a weird move but i'll try it anyways yeah that's that's why maybe that wasn't the best play okay we need two on uh, ig4 Okay, a6, can have two, castle, queen c7, I 
Okay, this. Mm -hmm. Eight of six, c4 idea. This, rook c2, rook c1, I may double up my rooks. Okay, that from my open L, just play bishop d3. Oh, I think he blundered bishop g5. Maybe he didn't, but I think he did. Uh, e4 against Karmar. I'll take on e3. I'll play queen c7. I don't want this pawn so much now. Okay, queen c7. Uh, this, okay. Mm. Okay, queen d2. Okay, ah, that's a cool idea from Hukos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Takes, takes. I think the best for me is to take on h4 because it will be less less pieces left. I think... I may even triple. <laughs> okay, I'll play king e2, I think. Okay, takes, takes. Um, takes, takes, takes. Okay, I'll take, then I'll see. Okay, what here? I think I'll play knight c6. Uh, here, that's an interesting point. Hmm. Yeah, take, take. Huh. Need to think a bit. Rook c6. Not rook c2. <laughs> I'm not sure. <coughs> I think rook c2. Okay, rook e1. Uh, might b4? Yeah, okay, yeah. Um. Uh, I don't like my position much, to be honest with you. Rook takes, I guess. Mm, takes on e4. Okay. I will castle. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure about this. <laughs> I'll try at least something. Okay, here. Hold on, queen c1. Uh, yeah, this. And have two. Okay, that. Maybe I'll just play h3. I need to play knight e4. I'm not sure. I think two pawns. I guess we'll see whether I will have anything for these two pawns or not. Um, hmm. How to win this? <laughs> okay, I'll play rook e No, that doesn't look good. I'll play rook c7, I think. Okay, knight f5. Ah. Oh. I don't like my position much. Knight f6, attack on the bishop, trying something at least. <laughs> um, knight d5. Okay, queen e2 here. These. Cd takes, he'll take with e pawn, I guess. Uh, a3. Okay. <laughs> uh, this. Rook a7, I think, is interesting. Though she has rook c8 there. So, I'm not sure whether it will be good, but queen c5 is cool move, which I'll try. Uh, oh, knight d4. Oh, nice play from Hukos. Oh, yeah, wow. <laughs> um, okay. Well, what should I do? I don't know. Hmm. d3, yes. Bishop f5 and then I have like bishop h3. So I'll try. <laughs> okay, queen trade. Um, here I'll take. Okay, wow, he like doesn't think at all. Okay, uh, bishop h3. Okay, rook d5. I'm going to go for rook c7, I think. Uh, this just bishop c5 developing. Uh, knight f4 looks good here. Knight f4, yeah. Okay, this. I, I need to bring my king, no? <laughs> Yeah, I think. Oh, I think Karma Blonde takes, takes queen e4, and I'm mate on this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm winning. This bishop c4 is interesting there. And then I'll have this is, this is. I can play. Ah, I'll play bishop c4. We'll see. Okay, I take on here. Okay, queen e4. Um, rook c8. Okay, here's g5 as an idea. It's a, it's a threat, actually. Not as an idea, that's a big threat. <laughs> so, I'll play bishop g3, I guess. Um, oh, I cannot play queen h5. That's not great. But Oh, I can play queen h5. I cannot play queen f5, I meant to say. Okay, queen h5, yeah. Um, oh, boy, I think I'll just take. I will take, then... Okay, here, as you can see, bishop b3 wins for me, and he can, he can take, but I have... Queen c2, these. 
I'll go for c5, I'm not sure. Okay, queen. Queen or not queen? Hmm. Hmm. Not sure. <laughs> uh oh. But yeah, my position doesn't look so good, to be honest with you. Uh oh. Okay, queen e5. Yeah, ah, this. Move by f3. He literally doesn't think at all. Wait a second. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know, I'm scared. I'll go for d6. Okay, I'll win a pawn here, and here is mate. Good game, like a duplo. Okay, king f1. I'm pretty sure I'm lost. I'll try. Against who calls? Okay, here I think capturing on d3 with b knight isn't a bad idea. Okay, thanks for the rook to karma. Is panda c? Why did I get panda at all? <laughs> okay, b4. Hey, I want panda. I don't want to lose a tie. That's not fair. Give me panda. <laughs> oh, whoa. Wait, queen c5? Okay, knight g2 here. Rook d2. Wait a second. What is this? Did he blunder? <laughs> I just sit here waiting. Yeah, I see that you're just waiting. I'm trying to win on time, don't you? Okay, queen d4. Mm. Queen d3. Okay, queen f2. Okay, I'll take on d4 here. Hey, give me panda! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Finally! I got panda. Okay, b5, I'm trying. Uh, queen g2 is looking cool here. I'm not sure <laughs> if it will be actually good, but we'll see. Okay, rook e2. Uh, so, perpetual. I think he's fine with it, but I would like to win this. <laughs> but I'm not sure how, because if I go to uh, a7, g1 diagonal, queen e4, queen f6, and that's bye uh, bye to my knight. I'm not sure if I'd want it, you know? Uh, if rook e2 there, and then I again go to this diagonal, so mm, not so good. So I'll play queen e2 once more, and I'll just see. Okay, king c4, okay, queen e4, uh, okay, he repeats. Wait a second, I can play king g1, I think, but then queen g3, and then that's a draw. If I go king h1, then there is that. If king f2, there is this. Huh, I think I'll play queen g2. Never give up his karma rule, yeah, nice rule. Oh boy, uh, a3, b4, creating a passer is important. Okay, queen d3 from who calls? Mmm. I don't know whether I should go to try to win or no, because I have no idea how am I going to win, though. So maybe I'll just play queen e2 and say, yeah, draw. Good game. I think that's what I'll do. Okay, against Ferny Freck, I'll do this. So against Panda, I'll take with d-pawn. Okay, yeah, good game, who calls? Nice draw. I think I got lucky with the draw, actually. I think I was completely lost there. Uh, three fold. I mean, I don't know, king of two? Queen d4, king of one, queen of six, rook b1, ah, okay, queen e2. <laughs> uh, this will take bc, I think. Mm, b4, I'm creating a passer, castle, against panda, he has to capture, but I can play knight d5 and then bishop d2. Um, okay, this bishop is seven. So, yeah, draw. Good game, uh, Mr. Hukus, right? Hukus. Who Hu Hukus. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> that was a spicy game. I was completely lost. Lucky me! That was better from the opening. Yeah, I played a weird opening, but then he played very well. Alright, I'll play bishop a6. I'll try to trap him bishop b7. I'm relatively sure the trap won't won't turn out good. <laughs> but I try, so try. Why not? Uh, a, b. A nice strike from Natasha. I'm still sure I'm winning. So, I'll take hg. Okay, Ferny Freck. <gasps> Ooh, hold on. Ah, Bishop E7 is a nice move, I think. I would like Queen E4, but my knight hangs. Like, meh. <laughs> that isn't super nice. So, I think I'll take on C8 and then I'll see. Yes, here is an important decision, I think. Whether I will push, takes, 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 B6. Or I take this. Like in C5, rook G4, B5, rook G8. 
I think I can just take and chill, but <laughs> of course never take it easy. Okay, knight e2, and Panda bishop b6, just develop my bishop. Uh, against Karma rook b1. Okay, I think in c5 is a good move. Okay, thank you for a knight dfe. Okay, I'll push. So I'm pretty sure I'm winning. Here, can c6, rook g3, by f rook c2, I think it's an important move. Um, I'm not sure though, rook c2, can e7, b6 there, b7, but then I have rook g2. I think can c6 should work. We'll see, I guess. Uh, rook d7, I'll take on b5 as my bishop. Against who goes, I get lucky. He played a very good game, but then, I don't know, he played weird queen b3 move. Maybe he meant queen a3. Ah, oh, yeah, maybe that was a mouse slip, I guess. Okay, Femni, I'll play this queen b7. Okay, here I'll push, and I'm winning. Sorry for talking extremely fast, <laughs> but it's, ah, oh, I, I think I need to. Sorry for that, because it is quite intense, so I cannot really talk slowly, you know. Okay, queen 6, queen trade, I'm fine with that. King d5, okay, queen b7, isn't it a blunder from Ferni? Maybe it is, we'll see. Mm, okay, queen c8, just straight rooks, whatever. b7. Uh, I play c4 to open up king. Yes, king c6. And as you can see, I'll get the mm, rook. Okay, whoa, what is this? I think that's a blunder from Ferny Freck, isn't it? Yeah, b8. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. Okay, king b8. And then, yeah, you can trade the pawns, but... Wow, what is this? <laughs> well... I still think after knight 6 I should be better. Okay, king e5. Oh, thank you for the bishop. Okay, here I'll take cd. Uh, king e4. Uh, rook fd1 I think it's not bad because takes, 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 takes bishop of 1. Saves the day for me. <laughs> so yeah. Um, temperature it is okay trying it. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I think queen c7. I don't like it, but okay, rook f4. Okay, I will just take on b1. I have quite a lot of pieces. Okay, wait. Then I have a forced mate here. I'll just take on a3, and I'll see. Queen b5. We'll see. <laughs> Seems scary. Okay, I'll play queen c3 against Karmar, I think. Just pin in the rook. Okay, I think Panda lost a pawn. Okay, rook g3, rook g1 mate. Uh, bishop b3, bishop there. I'll try it. <laughs> okay, mate, good game to Natasha. Oh, 95! Okay, pawn for extra pawn for me. Let me have a drink quickly. I think I'm quite nice on time. So, bishop c2. Okay, I'll take. I have two knights versus a rook. I think that should be fine. Here, check. Oh, I found something cool. I found something extremely cool. Please don't give up, DFE. Okay, B5 is a nice move. Ah, okay. If you would play king A1, I would have bishop B2. And if you take with bishop queen A4, queen A3, mate. And if you would take with the king, I have queen B3. Queen a1, queen a3 mate, and can see one queen b1 mate, but okay, he just took, good game DFE. Okay, I my knight on g3 is bad, I need to make it active, so let's do it. Queen d3, yeah, knight e2, knight e4 is a nice way to make my knight active, I think. Uh, three games are out, go whoa, that's a nice move from Panda, quite trappy. Actually, yeah, I cannot take because he'll take here, but I think I can just play h6. Yeah, you see, my knight was better in g3, but on f4, it wins a game for me. So, you see, nice knight maneuver for me. And knight e7, okay, rook d1, queen d4. It's my pre-move, because, yeah, I'm pretty sure he cannot stop it. Thank you for the game. Yeah, DFA, thanks for joining the simul. It was fun, okay. So against Karmar, I am winning. Oh, yeah, thanks for the queen. Okay, I, I'm i not sure. I can't take with the pawn if I really don't want Panda to play knight c5, but I think I'm kind of fine with it. Uh, rook d7, 
queen e3, okay, here queen d7, two bishops have an extra pawn, I'm quite good, okay, Ferni gave up, so it is just Panda and Karma left, these, that's a nice move from Panda trying to get one of my bishops off the board, cool idea, I think, hmm, I think, ah, that's a weird move, but I think bishop g5, Good game, Karmar. And yeah, so Bishop G5's so idea is takes, takes. How much is Simu going for? 20 minutes, okay. Uh, takes and now Queen D3 is cool, I think. I have a passer. And Queen D2 is also a nice idea. So. Queen d2, queen c4, queen e1, king h2, queen f2, or queen d3 takes, takes, knight c3. Knight c3, queen d3 takes, takes, knight c3. Then I play bishop c1, a4, bishop d2, knight a2, bishop b4, I think, and I win a pawn. I think I queen, queen d3. Ouch. I think that should be better. Because queen d2, queen c4, I am not so sure. Yep. Good games. So, I will analyze all games slowly. Um, yep, GG, 6 wins, 1 draw, 0 losses. Congrats to Mr. Kukos for getting the draw. Um, yeah, that was a cool game in my opinion against Fernie Frag. Loved all games, thanks all for playing. Uh, against Natasha. Oh yeah, that was a nice rook hand game, I think. Uh, that was cool against Karma. That was a nice little trap for me, I think. Against Diffy. Yeah, nice also idea from me. Against Panda, it is 3 nil nil. Yeah, Panda had a draw, but he just hung upon and yeah. And Lego Duplo, I also played quite good. Okay, what game ended the first? Anyone remembers? I think. I don't remember. Ah, <laughs> uh, I think it was a win game. I don't remember against whom though. Okay, Karma or Panda was maybe it was Lego Duplo. <gasps> yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. So let's analyze it. Um, okay, the scene start off with Italian. Usually main line is d4 takes takes here, but Lego Duplo played Bishop c4. A6 takes, this is, usually you take with a knight, because when he took with a queen, as you can see I have knight c6 and he just like wasted a tempo with his queen. Um, this, this, and yeah, bishop f4 would be a better move, because now knight f6, yes even e5 for example, and knight g4 is this pawn doesn't hang, you know, because in the game he was hanging and I just like won it. Um, so yeah, that's why bishop e4 I think is a better move than bishop e3, because bishop e3, knight f6, and against the pawn. Here we have to go for knight bd2, and it would be slightly worse for him, because after d5 I just have more space, let's say, better piece development, but otherwise it would be fine, because e5, knight g4, now my idea is to take the bishop on e3 and knight e5, place knight c3, which is a mistake, yeah, he had to defend the pawn more with bishop f4, I would be better, but yeah, he would have playable position, because knight e3 is a really nice move, I double up the pawns, and now I play queen c7, and as you can see I took his bishop for my knight, and as usually bishops are slightly better than knight, um, yeah, <laughs> 
just got confused. Uh, and then also e5 pawn is the weakness here, as you can see. So knight e4, knight e5, I want the pawn. Bishop c5 would be a better move because I would attack this pawn. But knight 3 is also fine. Yeah, here to take with bishop, trying to trade at least the bishop, trying to castle to short side and more or less find position. But okay, this. And long side castle is and you actually here to play c3. And then you could or castle here or castle there. Because after this, I just have bishop b3. And look at this. He takes. There's mate. So, mate and a wandering Lego Duplo. Then I think it was against Kos. Which was a quite intense game. Um, so, yeah. I got lucky with the draw. D6 is inaccuracy. I don't know. Maybe it was a mouse slip. Um, yeah, maybe. I don't know. This is. Played with opponent with g5. Knight here. Uh, okay, I have to go for bishop is 3 right? Yeah, maybe to castle on because he's putting all his pieces to the short side, and I'm like castling there, have been happy, and then bam, and then it's lost. Okay, this, this, this. Here I have to go for queen d3 instead of queen b3 because on queen b3 and bishop f3, and winning a pawn here. Now nah, actually, here it wouldn't be that great. Uh, but yeah, you'd have a pawn, and I cannot really take his pawn because I mean, I don't know, my queen is just out of play, like knight f6, for example. Okay, it's actually not so bad here, but okay, this here I go for knight h2, make his bishop move away, then play bishop b3, I'm slightly better, that's fine. Because here, I don't know why I think he could just take, and here he would be a whole pawn up, I have no compensation basically. This here I go for knight h2. And if bishop moves, play g4, stop in his attack. And if he plays knight f6, play f3, bishop d7, and then like g4. Okay, this is a4 mistake. I'd go for king f2. Yeah, I was thinking, but I decided a4 knight is knight b5 idea. Computer says he just had to ignore and play knight f6. And yeah, basically king e7 alongside castle double up, and he would be better. Here I go for rook h1. I thought like, ah, oh, nice, he just loaded an exchange. But the move I didn't see was bishop f6. Look at this. If I take, he takes, it just has way too good development and way too good attack, basically. Um, and yeah, I took on h4. It didn't feel too bad. But look at that. <laughs> look at my poor bishop. Out of seven pawns, Six pawns are on light square. And a bishop turns into a huge pawn, actually. Yeah, out of six pawns, five on light squares. Yeah. So, I needed to play rook h1, taking control over h file. But I really didn't like this idea. And basically, I felt like, well, he'll have like everything good. And I'll have everything passive, so I need to try something. And I played f4, takes e5. I'm trying to sacrifice. Probably, maybe it would be better for him to take here, but okay. He took on g4, king of two, this. Now, knight of six in accuracy, I had to go for bishop h3. Try it immediately, because if he takes, I take and I'm winning, because knight is pinned. And if queen d7, there is knight c5, and I'm winning. So, bishop h3, knight is three. Rook is three, I would just have to sack and exchange this and. I guess it's decent for him, not for me. I play knight f6, knight d4, queen d3, bishop f5, bishop h3, takes, takes, this, this. Queen h5, I'm trying something because otherwise he's just way too easily won. Queen e5 here, this, my last red is queen c5, and here he plays queen b3. You have to go for f3, basically just sack a knight, and there, don't care about the knight. Play rook h8, have a smashing mate, and I can just win. I'm not sure, maybe at a mouse slip, he want to play queen a3, but also it's weird he would sacrifice this pawn, but yeah, I'm pretty sure he would be better. This and king 18 accuracy here to try queen b6, trying to at least trade the queens and have a pawn up endgame, trying to somehow win it. But okay, he played king a8, queen d4, queen f3, and yeah, basically I was scared of rook g8 or rook h8, but here I have rook e8, so it's not a big deal, and rook g8, can I just play because of that? But okay, I played queen f2. And then we just repeated the position. So absolutely intense game, but it ended in a draw. Thanks for game two, who caused? Then I guess the game against Daifi ended. 
So, you play this. Um, bishop, I think, I don't know, bishop e2, I think is the best. Or even bishop to c1, computer says, is bishop f1 is fine. Because bishop e2, it uh, basically at some point you want to put knight to e2. But here the bishop is underway, so bishop f1 is a fine move. Okay, bishop d3 felt a bit weird. B3, it is a nice play though. Once it castle is a mistake, you have to go for a4, b4, then play knight d1, knight e3, and try to build up some attack, for example. But okay, once it castle knight b4, my idea is just to take or to do something. You play c5, knight fd5, and here you have to go for bishop e4, knight f4. This is, I would just win a pawn. But to be honest with you, not much more than a pawn. It just stays. Uh, I took g pawn, but now g file is open for him. So yeah, it would be better, but he would have compensation. Because after a3, I play knight f4. This, now, you take knight bd3, takes, takes. Now if you would play queen e2, I would play b4. Opening up the position, I'm just a pawn up, but I am completely winning because here, look at this, c4. And if it takes, I take and this. And if he takes, takes, and I take on a3, and I'm winning. So you play queen g5, but I didn't really help him. I took on c3, on f3, and then here, what I would say is, would be a cool mate after bishop b2. If king b2, this is mate. Or if king a1, queen a3. Mate, not queen a2, that would lose. So queen a3, and if bishop b2, queen a4, and mate. But okay, he took, and here mate, and I want the game die fee. Then, the game against Natasha Romanov. So, I forgot how it's called. Wait, I think it is Ragozin, right? Somewhat. Or Decline Queen's Gambit. Yeah, Queen's Gambit declined. So, Bishop D3. It's not the best move. I had to take, uh, create an isolated pawn for her. And yeah, that would be. Here I'm a pawn up. But, as soon as that I is an isolated now, and that's basically equal. This is, rook a1 is an exit from me, I have to give a check on h7, go back to f5, make a bit worse uh, pawn structure for her, and yeah, basically she would have weaknesses, but I cannot really use them, so it's more or less fine. a5, this, she had to go for e4, try to open stuff up, and yeah, I need to suck an exchange, basically position would be slightly better for her, because she has an exchange, but it would be equal. Rook c2 and x for me, it, yeah, I was thinking about this, I just did like d4. But okay, f4 it would be slightly better, so she had to go for a4, and we basically would just trade everything in a perpetual. Okay, rook c7 this, I'm trying to get a better position. This, queen e6 in x, she had to go for a4, yeah, just a4, trade this, she's even slightly better because she's a pawn up, but... I think the game would end in draw because it takes, takes, and basically draw. This is rook 7 in xc. I had to go for rook c4. Yeah. This and rook 5 mistake should go for rook d7. Only I think good move because rook d6 would be the same what's in the game. Uh, yeah, rook d7 is a good move because if I take there is rook 7, just an exchange job. So if to take, then king of 6 here, here, well, maybe not so, but like bishop of 5, and then just draw. So rook e5 takes, and here a cool realization part of rook endgame. I got her rook away, I got my king closer, I created a passer, and I just started pushing it, and she had to sacrifice a rook for my pawn. And basically with a next rook I managed to win. Good game. Another game, next one. Hmm. Was against Ferny Freck. It's also Queen's Gambit decline, right? Yeah, Barman variation. So Bishop G5, this, and yeah, Rook C1 mistake. I'd go for A3, and now Queen B3. Otherwise, I would just lose the game, I think. Oh no. No. It would be just worse. Like Queen D2, DC. I would be a pawn down. Yeah, basically A3, Queen B3. If not here, King D1. <laughs> Or A takes B, King D1 or King D2 is better. This, I would not have castle, but, but the cool thing I just have good compensation. So look at this. You can castle by B4, and that's actually a funny. Oh! Whoa! 
Ha! Huh. Okay, I know how to do all arrows. Uh, all colors. I forgot. So right, normal right click is green. Shift is red. Shift plus alt is yellow. Alt is blue. Yay! <laughs> I keep forgetting and keep remembering that. So yeah. Basically, I don't have castle, but I have a really good pawn chain. And yeah, that compensates no castle. But okay, I played rook c1. Here you could play queen a2 and just basically win a pawn. And yeah, just slightly better position for him. But he played castle. Then bishop d3. Uh, he plays like, how to say, stonewall. Variation like in Dutch. It happens like, I think something like play knight f6, like g3 d or like e6 yeah for example bishop g2 d5 you castle and then c6 this you play bishop d6 and knight e4 like stone wall what we had in the game so f5 this uh here to go for a6 i had to take oh <laughs> actually considered to take i thought well like knight d5 yeah i didn't see e4 uh, and a knight c3 just sacrifice a pawn because takes rook a1 and win the queen. If this and also rook a1, the bishop is stuck. So e4 and better. If cd just play knight b5, out of a nice position. If ed just bishop a5, I didn't see that I'm a pawn up. So yeah, played c5. I close the position, but here I really like the fact that you had to go for bishop 6. That's true. Because b takes c, he has a nice stone wall. But yeah, that was a cool game, I think, because we had a very interesting pawn chains. So I play bishop a6. My idea is basically to play bishop b7 and win the rook. He plays bishop c8 with trade. Knight e2, because my idea is like queen b3, queen b7. My knight is in the way, so it's not good. This, here, here I go for rook b7. I thought about it, but I decided not to do it. Yeah, now I understand why it's a good move, so he, he cannot move his bishop at all, basically. So queen b3 g5, it's a blunder here to go for rook f7. That was weird, in my opinion, because basically this, and I mean, yeah, but I'm completely winning. I have two knights for rook, I a bit for tier, but it's all fine. And here a nice maneuver, because look at this, um, all my pieces, my rook, my pawns, my knight on e5 are good. Only piece which isn't good is knight on g3. So, or knight h5, or knight e2. Good, I think, to get knight into play. So, I decide to play knight e2, king g7, knight f4. And now look, yeah, I just didn't have one piece enough to make a blow. And now, king f6, knight e5, and he gave up. And I wonder him, Fernie Freck. So, then against Karmar, it was exchange slab. Yeah, h6 is maybe a better move, just a bit better move though. I don't know, just because you trade <laughs> a lot of pieces, a lot of material, and basically, yeah, castle, castle, I have weakness on 3, so it's fine. But again, it'd be the 7 is another good move. e3, a6, we're just developing castle, castle, e4, in exit, go for rook c1, this. And bishop of 4, that's a nice idea to put my knight to e5, actually. Uh, this, b3, and yeah. <laughs> okay, this, and here, big blunder from Karmar. I just need to play for h6 or knight d5. This, and then, I don't know, like b5 now, and um, yeah, that's somewhat typical type of position when you... I don't know how to say when white has an isolated pawn, let's say on d4, right? But black also has their own weaknesses. White has an isolated pawn. Black has a good blockade knight to not let white get rid of the weakness, right? But white have co has compensation. They usually try some ideas. Maybe not exactly here, but like rook a d1, a3, f4, f5 to play on black skin. But yeah, karma just played b5 and here Bishop f6 takes queen e4, and as you can see, it is a double attack. I threaten, I threat mate, and also I attack the rook. So g6, queen a8 takes, takes these. I want a rook, and I'm just 
simplifying the position and uh, yeah that's how I basically won the game and he gave away the queen and here major one the name Karmar so cool game yeah knight d5 would be a nice move and b5 then because b5 just blundered bishop 2 f6 Okay, and the last game was against Perfect Panda. 3 2 1 for him and 3 0 0 for me. So, Bishop e2 is a bit unusual move. Main line is like Bishop d3, I think, yeah. Z is 87, that's fine. Z is near Bishop g5. And basically, you may like be like, what? Why is it good? Bishop c3, bc 84 Knight bishop is red and pawn is hanging, everything is hanging up two pawns down. But after bishop 3, there is bishop f6 in between her. Basically, if z is bishop g7 or knight b6, I think is better with bishop b2 and two bishops for white. So, yeah, bishop takes, takes on f6, takes, takes. And that's uh, very, I don't know, very, like, I don't know, balanced? or like unpredictable position i guess it's also correct to say because as you can see evaluation says plus one for white because black had a pawn up but this one is doubled at first and the second factor is that black skin is uh, black skin is in the middle and that's a bit scary so yeah bishop f3 is an axi here i could take but i just played knight six this this bishop d2 just castle i'm slightly better because i don't know let's say i have a better development and i have a bit more space e5 um this rook d1 mistake from partner here to go for knight d1 then bishop c4 try to guess yeah i don't know queen c4 just rook d2 here and yeah i get the bishop back and it's just fine so rook d1 uh, here b5 would be a nice move. I considered it, but I was like this and he's fine, but no. fh6 or bishop c4, queen e3, then h6, then a5 and an a3 is a weakness, you see? So I'm getting use of this weakness and yeah, that's why I'm better. Rook d7, I lost the advantage. This, another, yeah, and here c4 mistake from panda here to go for rook d8. Basically takes, takes on f6 takes knight c5 this bishop b4 just reading everything basically everything then just play g4 or queen d6 h5 f3 queen g5 h4 queen d4 queen d5 and then perpetually it's almost forced but yeah uh c4 was played by panda played rook d1 then bishop c4 i want a pawn this this here here you go for bishop g4 and then queen d6 and then like knight b2 knight c5 kind of stuff because knight c3 i had to go for queen d8 <laughs> instead of queen d7 because after queen d7 i gave him an opportunity to play queen bishop g4 which he didn't play with the idea of bishop c8 if, for example like queen d3 then takes takes bishop c8 and my opponent fell even here but bishop d7 bishop c8 yeah but panda didn't find it i played bishop g5 i had to go for queen d4 this 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 and queen d3 i want a time in better position not winning but i think i would be able to win queen d2 would be a, a mistake eventually ha huh, nice and queen of two oh i just didn't see that the pawn hangs i thought that it hangs but i thought it's fine but this and then it's basically a perpetual unstoppable g6 queen f7 boom boom queen f7 can you queen of eight and if king jade then there is queen c8 and perpetual uh so i play queen d3 and the game could continue takes takes then knight c3 then bishop c1 yeah i was planning bishop c1 this and i was planning bishop d2 and if knight d2 bishop b4 takes this i'm winning so yeah i thought panda would play knight d2 then i would take and i would but if you would play knight d3 i would just take and i would be two points up so slowly or surely i think i would be Slowly but surely, I think I would be able to win. The after, but after Queen D3, his time run out, and that's how I won the game. Good game, so so yeah. In my opinion, that was fun, simple, wasn't it? So six games.
played against Diffie, Panda, Lego Duplo, Karma, Natasha Romanoff, Fernie Freck, and Hukos. I drew against Hukos, but I won against everyone else. So I played one, two, three, four games with white, and one, two, three games with black. So yeah, thanks all for having fun. It was cool and nice to have you here, and uh, yeah, I hope you, I hope you enjoyed the stream. When did I play Blitz? Rated actually, huh? Ah, against Marcus Pepe. I was like, yeah, I didn't play uh, Rated, <laughs> but okay, cool. So yeah, hope you had also fun together with me. If you did, and yeah, please join on chess by Shasha Club and Kim Zell 1078 members. Thank you very much. Just went to members and I'm going to make a tournament 1,100 members so feel free to join I will be very very happy. And yeah, thank you for following on chess on YouTube Twitch and as usual click the like button and subscribe to me and please also join and please join me team on chess club and show and also join my discord to get notifications when I start on Twitch and when I post videos on YouTube link is in the description. And yeah, bye bye, a couple guys see you soon see you tomorrow, same fun see you all stay cool